So I wanted to talk briefly in this tutorial about how to use the download multiple attachments in Gmail, um, specifically some issues that some people were having. Uh, of course, when you get an email uh, in Gmail with multiple attachments, you always have the option to download individual files or view them, you know, open them in Google Docs. Uh, but one um, uh, aspect that n not many people think of is how to download all attachments and whether or not that's going to work on your computer. Um, what it assumes if you're downloading multiple attachments is that you have a decompressor or unarchiving uh, software of some kind installed on your computer, something like WinZip or JZip or uh, Stuff at Expander, or something like that. Uh, if you're working with Windows 7, you don't need to worry about this because it's a part of the Windows 7 system. But if you're using Windows XP, you'll definitely need something to help you out. Uh, in the event that you do get an email with multiple attachments, in this case, you could click the Download Attachments button and it will actually download the file. I've got that uh, saved in a folder here and what you can do from that point to get access to these uh, four files is unarchive or open the compressed or zipped folder. Now there are a couple of different utilities that you can use. I mentioned uh, WinZip specifically is one uh, that's very popular. Another free open source alternative um, to WinZip is something called JZip and that's what I have installed on my system here. So what I can do is either double click on the file attachment or right click on it and you'll get a couple of options here to open the file with that uh, archiving program. So here it displays the, um, the archiving uh, right click menu and I could either choose extract all or I could go to send to and then use um, you know the unarchiving utility here. I'm going to go ahead and choose open and here I'm using Windows 7 so you'll see there's the contents of the file and then I can take these uh, particular folders and either open them or cut them or paste them into a different location. Uh, if we go back to the uh, the source here you'll see that the um, the other options for some of these other archives when you right click on them uh, will give you the ability to open in uh, another free utility called 7-zip and what that will simply do is uh, open the application and open the zip file displaying the contents that you could then extract onto your desktop to another folder. Uh, but generally, and there it is, uh, so generally when you are working with an, an archiving utility you'll need to take those files, open the zip folder, and then extract those files to either a uh, location on your hard drive or desktop or flash drive, whatever. Um, but that's how to do it in Gmail when you are working with multiple attachments uh, if you don't have an unarchiving utility like WinZip or 7-Zip or JZip, uh, you'll need to uh, figure out a way to, to decompress those or download the files individually. Uh, the files uh, or applications referenced here, again, are available on the website. If you need links to those products, uh, go to trendingeducation.com if you want to review this tutorial in writing. I uh, hope that helps. Please email me if you have any questions. Thanks.